Hey YouTube. This video today is going to pretty much be about don't quit, don't give up. You almost to the finish line. Now, I'm obviously in the shower. You know, sister got to wash her ass. Can't be right now here smelling like God knows what we did, why you do it, and everything else. So, matter of fact, uh, you don't walk with me, talk with me. Another walk with me, talk with me video. Uh, make sure I got everything. Always got to double check yourself. Double check the shower. Shower, no thing, we nothing. Everything looking pretty decent. Yeah, got that thing. Got the Denny salad, BLT. But I took the the, uh, the B off, which was bacon, because you know, try to save meat, give it to my dog. But man, I mean, I've been it's a lot of videos that I pretty much haven't really had a chance to do because I've been like really tired. So you know, I'm trying to catch up on everything, you know, without neglecting one or the other. So I'm trying to keep up with everything, but this video I really just want to um, motivate anybody that's going through out here because oh my goodness is raining. Dang it, man. See what I'm saying? It's always something. So uh, now I'm going to have to try to run to my truck so we can talk. But uh, man, first I got to remember where the hell I'm parked at. Look at this crap. Coming down. Where did I park? Uh, fuck, man. I'm parked. Wait, man. You know what? Let me do this video right here. Yeah, but like I was saying, though. Um, goodness. But, you know, y'all pretty much know my story. Every time I go do something out here, I always do a, uh, you know, a record. So, wait a minute. And I don't, I mean, I do do a record because it is therapy. I ain't gonna lie, since I've been doing YouTube videos, it helped me to heal a lot because a lot of times, one of the ways of healing is getting stuff off your chest so that, you know, you, you're not holding on to that no more. So by me doing YouTube videos, that helped me to get it off my chest. Even though a lot of people disagree why I do it because they feel like I shouldn't be telling my business pretty much to a whole lot of people that's watching this, but, I'm not selfish like that, so my thing is, if if it can help somebody, then by all means, you know, I will use my testimony for the next person to let them know that, you know, it's not impossible to do what you need to do. Now, there's a lot of times I've been out here, and I wanted to quit so many times, like I told y'all before, you know, I'm not supposed to still be doing this OCR, because I had so many things happen to where it threatened, first of all, it threatened for me not to even get started. It threatened for me to have to quit in my tracks. Even now, things are still trying to, uh, you know, knock me off my tracks. And it's mainly dealing with my caretakers. Cause you best believe when you doing something that most people envy, or you doing something that, uh, you know, most people look up to and they feel like they can't do it. The reason why I say feel like is because there's nothing that you can't do. And if you can't do it, it's only because you pretty much put a limitation on yourself. Shit, yeah, man, forget this. Fuck it. It's just water. Ain't nothing wrong with water. But don't limit yourself, you know? So, wait a oh, man, that rain sure enough got me. Oh yeah, I got this from my Walmart too. Like, you know how you be riding, and sometimes you be riding past other truck drivers, and you don't be wanting them to see you, because a lot of times they be looking at you, or they be trying to figure out who in the truck. This can have it to where they can't see you as much as if you didn't have it. That's one, one reason why I got it, I got tired of truck drivers looking at me and doing crazy stuff, so. But like I said, back to, you know, don't quit, make it to the finish line. You know, the reason why I say that, because like I said, there's times even now to where, like I said, I it gets to a point to where I question like that, should I quit right now and just resume later? And for new people that is coming out here, you know, their first year into trucking, or even their first year into just a journey that they've never done before, you got to understand that it's not going to all be easy. Sometimes it do, but most of the time, you're gonna have some bumps in the road, 
and you know if you got to be strong-minded enough to where you don't throw in the towel because things get a little rough because then that shows that you're weak-minded or you feeble-minded to where anytime something you know go wrong you know you ready to quit and that's not the way to go my thing is when you kind of prepare yourself on what to expect when you go into any venture that can kind of lessen the stress of it I'm not going to say it's going to diminish it or stop it all together but it can kind of lessen some of the impact of whatever you may encounter on your business journey on uh, you know a new journey to a new career on a new journey into maybe motherhood fatherhood anything new that you just never done before and you trying so hard to you know to not quit I mean you can't quit man I mean, I tell myself this every day. You have to kind of have a self-talk with yourself. And really, as human beings, we have self-talk with ourselves all the time. But you got to know which one of those self-talks you should be listening to. And a lot of times, especially people that's been through a lot or people that uh, tend to live in depression or live in just a lot of just going through so much, a lot of times that negative talk, you hear that more than you hear the positive talk. Like I said in a couple other videos, you might hear the talk saying, oh, you can't do that. Why you Why you think that you worth to have that? You ain't nobody. Or uh, why don't you just give up now? It ain't worth it. Or it's too much work. You know, it's too much work to get into this. It's just too much. Well, if that's your true passion, whether it's too much or not, nothing that's worth having is easy to obtain. You know, anything that's worth having, you best believe you're going to bust your ass to get it. You better believe that. Because I've been busting my ass through this whole almost now two years trying to get my business off the ground. And even before I've gotten into my trucking business, I was in the um, process of doing my automotive business. I had the um, business name and everything. And I even still get uh, like business stuff in the mail for my other uh, business name. It was called The Woman's Work. And um, like I've always had a business mentality and it wasn't just in trucking. You know, even if I didn't get into trucking, I was going to have a business of something. I was even trying to teach my kids this. Like, I was teaching my kids at an early age. Like, you know, like I was starting them off selling candy. Or, you know, y'all, like my son used to like sneakers a lot. So I'm like, well, you can uh, do a little business to clean people's sneakers and all that. So a business mentality has always been in me. And I always try to pass it down to my, my children. So, I mean, you're going to go through a lot. You got to learn which self-talk you're going to listen to. Because a lot of times, that negative self-talk can be Satan, you know, talking to you. So you got to decide if you're going to listen to the devil destroy your joy. Or if you're going to listen to your guardian angel, you know, God, that can build you up. And a lot of times, you have to open yourself up to that good spirit. You have to ask for him to come into your life. For him to reveal what your purpose is, what you should do. How should you go about doing it? You know, you gotta, now I can't really say this for everybody because a lot of people I've realized don't believe in God or they have different religious preferences. So I'm speaking for me, you know, that's all I can do because a lot, of, like I said, whatever I talk about is coming from my experiences, what I've been through, what works for me. So what works for me is, you know, you gotta ask the Lord into your life. You know, you gotta pray constantly and you gotta believe that he's gonna work it out. You know, there's a saying where he might not give you what you want when you want it, but he's gonna give it to you when it's right on time. So you gotta have patience, you know? And that's another thing too, you know, a lot of times, and I was always a person of, you know, guilty for this, you know, you rush, you rush into stuff because you want it, when you want it, don't realize if it's good for you or not. So you rush into it and before you know it, you know something that you didn't like happened or you didn't got yourself into something that you got to get yourself out of i used to be really terrible for that and i feel like like for one of the, for one of the examples i used to rush into um you know getting with no good men to where i had to pay the consequences of them breaking my heart or pay the consequences like you know with the fathers they did where now i had kids by these deadbeats one guy said he like he was kind of rude about it, but he's like, get the fuck out of here. It ain't nobody fault but yours. You the one that chose the wrong man. Even though he said it rude, he was right. You know, you can't be mad at decisions you made in your life. You know, that was my fault, even though I can't really take up for it. 
but I really didn't know no better. I was a young teenage girl that, you know, just didn't have no guidance. So I pretty much had to learn every step of the way in my life. And I'm still learning every step of the way in my life to where a lot of things I went through, I didn't have to go through if I had mentors or if I had help. But, excuse me, the fact that I've had to learn everything through the grace of God or just through the grace of me meeting nice strangers on the way in my life, you know, I'm still here today kicking and pushing. And that's what I'm saying, you know, if you have a strong spirit, a strong mental to where you don't let nothing break you down, you know, you won't make it to the finish line. You know, you got to push through. It's going to be stuff, even if you're not even trying to do trucking, even if you're not even trying to do nothing of a business sort, as long as you breathing and you living life, you best to believe it's going to be something to knock you off your feet. And it ain't about you falling, it's about what you do to get up. Because people are going to fall, but everybody's not going to get up. Are you going to be the one to stay on the ground when you get knocked down? Or are you going to be the one to find a way to get up and to keep from falling again? And if you do fall, you got to repeat the same process. You know, it is truly easy to want to dwell in your sorrows or to dwell in what you're going through. But it's also easy to go into survival mode and to figure out what is the next step to get you out of the trouble once you work out a routine of doing it. Because a lot of times, practice makes perfect. And everything that you do on a day-to-day -day basis becomes a routine. So if you get in a routine of when you go through something, instead of jumping into victim mode, you jump straight into, well, what am I going to do about this? What is my next step? A course of action to where I don't have to go through this to where it's further questioning should I quit or should I just keep going so Grant we are all human and as human beings we we need each other to uh, feel you know to feel like we belong so a lot of times people do need a support system and it's really hard for the ones that don't have supportive families or it's kind of like you just don't have nobody it's almost like you're an orphan to where you just have nobody and when you feel like you have nobody that makes life a lot worse but it can make you a stronger person too and I was watching the grown folks channel he had one video about uh, he was proud to be a victim and he was saying a lot of motherfuckers <laughs> he cuss a lot he like a lot of motherfuckers complain about what they're going through but they never compliment the fact that it made them who they are today and he's right because I can easily dwell in my sorrow and be like, oh, it's not fair. He shouldn't have did this, blah, blah, blah. But then I wouldn't be where I'm at today. And I'm proud to have gone through what I've gone through because it has made me a stronger woman today. It has made me a stronger mother. The fact that these sorry deadbeat guys I dealt with wasn't in their life. You know, I hate the fact that my kids you know, had to go through not having a father, but it made me strong enough to be strong and be there for him. So I'm just saying, you know, don't quit. I, I'm really an advocate of don't quit because I could have quit a lot of times in a lot of situations, but I didn't. And I got so many more stories that I'm going to share. I just have to get around to doing it because I've been working a lot. And I'm sorry, guys. Um, I implemented my business number on the website. But I, I'm really trying to find so many ways to deal with the mass of people that I'm, starting, that I'm starting to come in contact with. And I never realized how hard it would be as one person to try to communicate with so many people. It is hard. Not impossible, but hard. Especially when I'm trying to work and um, do a lot of other things and YouTube. So I'm, it's like I'm kind of learning as I go with uh, communicating with everybody here on YouTube, but I'm gonna figure it out. Like I said, I'm always a person to jump in the act, like how can I fix this? How can I fix that? So I'm trying to learn how to, uh, you know, communicate with everybody that might need me to talk to them. So I'm gonna figure this out. I just wish that I had like um, some other people that I could link up with to where maybe it's another trucker that's doing what I'm doing and we can kind of be as a team to uh, be like mentors to other truckers that might need help or other people not even just in trucking that might need help so if you somebody that want to kind of link up with me to where we can um, just collab to be uh, you know just be the, the, 
the truckers that's just willing to help the next trucker fellow brother or anybody, please uh, send me an email or just, uh, you know, get up with me so that we can try to come together as a community to help each other. Because at the end of the day, that's what it should be. We should be a community, and that's what I try to promote. I try to promote unity, love, and just the fact that we need to come together as a human race and, you know, stick together and love each other. So at the end of the day, you know, don't quit, baby. Don't quit. You're going to go through something. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm going through a whole lot of other stuff that, I mean, I'm not even really putting on here. But, you know, I just put what I can to let you guys know that just because you go through some junk don't mean that it's impossible to be successful. So if I can do it, why can't you? You know, get out your sorrows. Get out your depression. Get out your low self-esteem. Don't let the other negative motherfuckers stop you from doing what you got to do. You're going to always have haters. If you ain't got no haters, you best believe you ain't doing something right. So I'm grateful for my haters because if I got so many people hating on me, I must be doing fucking good. I must be doing goddamn uh, uh, glorified hallelujah good. How I put hallelujah with cuss? I'm sorry. Forgive me, Lord. But what I'm saying is... You know, let the haters be your inspiration. Like, wow, I must be, I must be the shit. Damn, we motherfuckers on it like popcorn. So, yeah, man, you know, let's get this popping. I'm about to get on the road and make this money. Uh, I'm trying to figure out when to start the um, phone, the phone thing. Most likely, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to set one day out the week to do the calls. I'm going to have to put stuff on the schedule. That'll make it a lot easier because just doing the stuff on a random, that stuff is not working out as far as phone calls and messages. So most likely I'll probably have to set it for like a Friday or Saturday to take calls because I'll be driving and working, sleeping and tired. So I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'll be tired. And a lot of times when I'm tired, I really don't be feeling like being on the phone or dealing with messages because I have to kind of rejuvenate. And you'd be surprised at how draining it can be when you have to talk to a whole lot of people because the mind is only set up to have so many words to say or have so many communication it can do before it just say you know i need a break you know my word selection is running out so i have to kind of rejuvenate before i get back to it but that don't mean that i won't get back to it i just you know i'm working i'm doing so much stuff to where i'm kind of getting depleted so i have to kind of take a break but I love y'all at the end of the day. That's why I do what I do. I do it for y'all. And like I said, it's therapy for me too. So we are actually helping each other. And I love the fact that y'all, you know, showing me so much love. I love you guys that love me. So at the end of the day, time is of the essence. I have to make better time of it and get my hustle on. So, you know, let's love each other and not judge each other, guys. Because I love y'all and I never judge y'all. You know, we got to be here as a human race to help each other. So, all right, y'all.